All right, hey guys, what's up? My name is Matt Salamone. I'm two weeks out from Team Nationals. We're down here in New Jersey at Bob Bachman's gym. Today we're gonna hit some legs. Hey guys, uh, my name is Matt Salamone. I'm 19 years old, two weeks out from Team Nationals. I started bodybuilding when I was about 15. I trained with George Farah. I've been working with him for about four years, five days a week. So I really never miss a day with him. He's always keeping me in, on track with my diet, my training, my cardio, my supplements. He's on top of everything for me. Um, I did my first two shows when I was 17. I won the overall in Teenage Syracuse and then Teenage Rochester, New York. Um, recently, I just did the 2009 Rochester show. I was in a men's light heavyweight. I was sort of at the bottom of the class. I got, uh, I don't, not in the top five, but uh, hopefully Team Nationals will be different. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, I started working with George when I was about 15 years old. I was about 150 pounds. Just I played baseball all my life, so I was just some skinny little kid that really never had any muscle mass, never really knew how to work out, diet. Then I met George over at Powerhouse Gym in Rochester, New York. And I started with him about two days a week, just getting into things, seeing if he, uh, how he could change me, add some muscle mass, get me a better body so I wasn't afraid to take my shirt off. <laughs> um, the two days eventually turned into three days and then three days turned into every day. I used to go and train with George for about an hour and a half and then he would um, he would always do my diet. I've been following a, a diet since I was 15 years old. Whether it's to gain weight, lose weight, maintain weight, he's always been right there for me and his diets have always were great. Um, right now I'm about 185, two weeks out from Team Nationals. However, this past winter or slash off season, I got up to 250, just on the off season diet. I don't, you know, I only cheated once a week, and uh, I've been dieting since before Christmas. And this diet has got me down to this shape at 185. And I uh, know I couldn't do it without him. Um, I've been on no carbs now for about a week. I've been dieting on eight ounces of salmon six times a day. That's it. No vegetables, no carbs, nothing. Salmon and water. Um, and it's been working. I've been dropping weight and I've, I've been maintaining condition and size. And uh, since about 16 weeks out, the diet started with moderate carbs, moderate protein, moderate fat. And then as the show gets closer, we start changing things up a little bit dropping carbs, adding protein, just manipulating everything around to get me in the best shape possible. Uh, the thing I like about George's diets is the cardio is the minimum. I personally hate cardio and the most I've done ever working with George is a half hour a day which is amazing considering all the weight I've lost. Um, right now our training, our training is about 15 to 18 sets per body part. A little rest in between sets. We're doing high reps for legs and arms, and uh, every other body part is about 8 to 12 reps. And then after my workout session, I'll usually go eat my, my meal. I'll go home and relax, eat again, and then it's time for bed. Wake up in the morning, do my cardio, half hour on the treadmill, go upstairs, eat my breakfast, make my meals for the day, and then I go train and go train George again. And that's that's how my contest prep has gone. Just eating, relaxing, training. I really don't like to focus on anything else besides this competition right now. And uh, I think it's been working great. Um, I've been training towards Team Nationals for about three years now, ever since I qualified when I was 17. And uh, obviously my goal is to win the whole show. That's what, that's what you bust your ass for in the gym and diet and everything. You want to win the overall. Um, after Team Nationals, 
I want to take a year off. I need to fill out my upper body a little more. I'd like to add some size in my arms, my shoulders, some chest development. And then I'd like to start doing the Junior Nationals and following the footsteps of um, John De La Rosa and just keep doing it and doing it until I can win the Junior Nationals. Because my, my goal is to turn pro and I know working with George that I can do it and I will do it because I'm not going to stop until that happens. Um, and uh, lastly, I got to thank Muscular Development for this amazing opportunity for uh, allowing me to do this. Not only me, allowing any team to do this because teens and the young, the young amateurs are the future of this sport. And the more, the more teens and amateurs we have trying to work their way up, the better the sport's going to be, the better the competition's going to be, and the more people are going to become interested in bodybuilding. And I've already seen it happen. I've seen a lot of younger guys start competing. You know, you see the younger guys in the magazines, and then all of a sudden you get a bunch of other younger people who want, who want to do the same thing. They want to be in the magazines. So they start training and working out and supplementing and you know, it's just going to continue to grow and grow. It just, it was great to do this with MD. And I think, and I hope that they continue to do articles, photo shoots, whatever. Anything with teenagers, young adults, college kids. Just anyone who has the goal of being a successful bodybuilder or even just getting in better shape. This is a, it's great for the sport and it's going to really help help the competition in the bodybuilding.